What's going on, all you YouTubers out there? This is Zach, aka Zio Fox, and I just got myself an Xbox 360 Connect. Oh, yeah! Why did I get a 360 Connect, you ask? Well, it's because I'm getting a 3D printer. And what goes better with 3D printing than 3D scanning? Well, and that's what I need the 360 Connect for. So, I got it. Alright. Now, I was having a little bit of trouble getting the Re uh, Reconstruct Me software to cooperate with my brand new 360 Connect. So, through a little bit of digging, I discovered that you needed to do a couple of things, mainly in the terms of the driver range. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. First up, open up your web browser. I prefer Google Chrome. Why? Because it's snappy. <laughs> snappy, snappy. Alright, first off, you're going to need to go and search for the drivers themselves. So you go 360, connect drivers for Windows, version 1.8, and let the Google search load, and it'll be, it should be in the top two results. You're going to want the SDK from the Microsoft.com website. You're going to click on that. It's going to take you right to where you need to go. So you click that big red download button. It's going to come down here. I'm going to download it. First step, done. Next, you're going to want to go to a website called Open Let's see if I can even spell right. Open NI. So Google search Open NI, and it'll be your first list. Open NI.org. Go to this fun and happy website. My suggestion to you to get it done and over with is to create a profile. It's free, there's no cost, there's no nothing. It just allows you to have access to their multitude of downloads. That being said, now you come over here to their 3D sensors, and you can check out the 3D sensors that they offer, the, dry, the sensor bundles and all of that fun stuff, but I don't need that. I've got the Connect, and if you have an Xbox 360 at home, you can use the same Xbox 360 Connect that you use for your current Xbox. So it's a win-win for you. So first off, you're going to go over to the download section, click on software, and you're going to see a whole list of programs that they offer. Uh, I personally have used Reconstruct Me, and it is a very simple program to use. I mean, it's plug and play once you get all the drivers situated, and then you just go. So the first program you're going to need to download is the Open NI SDK. So underneath the search software, it's the first tab. Click on it, and it'll bring you to this page. Now you'll be able to see a whole bunch of downloads that you can choose from. If you've got a 64-bit OS, then you want the x64 version. If you have Linux and you have the x64 or 32-bit, which is the x86, or if you have ARM, it even works on Mac. So choose the one that is right for you. I have a 32-bit OS, so I clicked on the x86 and it'll come down over here and you're gonna download it it's gonna be a nice little zip file and then it just refreshes the page and don't really need to bother with it next you're gonna go back to the downloads and go to software the third piece of software you're going to need to do is night version 2.2.0.11 click on it. After you've created the profile, it'll allow you to click this download button and then choose your operating system. It's got Linux, Windows, and Mac, so anybody can use this. 
So again, I have a 32-bit OS. So I clicked on the Win X86, and then it's going to come down here in my little download menu. And I say, sweet, now I can finally get things rolling. Now, there is an order in which to install the drivers. Oop. This one's kind of big. It's uh, about 101 megabits. Again, I will post a link in the description for all of these pages to go to. So you, all you got to do is click and click and click and clickety click and click and you'll be done so while this one is downloading you're going to want to open up the connect SDK version 1.8 setup now I've already gone and done this so it doesn't take very long at all it only takes a couple of seconds so what you're going to do is you're going to click the I agree and then in your case you're going to click install and then click yes and then the process bar is going to go and run across the screen I don't want to mess with perfection because you know what the saying goes if it ain't broke don't fix it and I just got it fixed and now it's not broken so I don't wanna do all of that again anyway next you're gonna wanna go to open NI you're gonna double click the open NI software click run and then it's going to open the install wizard you're going to go click next and then you'll come to this not this screen it's going to be the first and install that the normal installer comes up with and then you're just going to go run through the installer like you would any other program so that being said after it gets done, you're going to click finish. You're going to oh, go open up night version 2.2. Double click that. It'll open for you. You're going to click run. And again, it's going to do the same thing. You just run through your normal installer. And after the installer gets done, you're going to go ahead and click finish. Woohoo! Now you've got all the driver software up to date and installed. And then, through the magic of the internet, download Reconstruct Me version 1.1.7.4, and it's awesome! It works great. You're going to download the software, install it like you normally would any other piece of software that you've got, and then it'll make a nice little icon right here on your desktop saying reconstruct me then you're gonna open your software launch reconstruct me the license is gonna say unlicensed it's gonna detect that you have a a high-end graphics card in this case I am using a Nvidia GeForce 550 Ti I know it's not the best, but it gets the job done for what I need. And then it's going to look for your sensor, like I said, which in my case would be the Xbox 360 Connect. Now we're going to come over here, and I'm going to grab the Connect. Hey, look at that. The depth camera works, and everything. See? all the cameras and sensors work so after this you're gonna click close if it decides to cooperate with me minor minor difficulties there In, in, in the event that the program does hang up, whoop, it might actually work, or it might close the program. I don't think it's decided yet. Well, I'm going to decide for it and kill the program. Anyway, let's try this again. You open up the software, reconstruct me. 
going to go ahead and do its initializing. And then you're going to click close. And then you're going to click on the refresh button. Just to refresh the camera. And then you're going to go and click record. Now the good thing about this is when you do the scan even in the unlicensed version there it goes and now it's recording Just go with that for now. Then when you're done, just click record. Set this back over here.